Yeah. Well, and I guess I see the trucking industry, you know, you could probably educate me, but it seems like it's definitely growing. And, you know, the pandemic has, you know, probably only accelerated the need for a lot of these services. So I'm curious to get your outlook on sort of the the future of the industry, you know, itself. And also really curious, you know, how do you think autonomy and self-driving vehicles will affect the trucking industry? Because you are, you know, building, um, you know, software for independent owner operators, but obviously there are a lot of companies investing in autonomy and, uh, you know, to be frank, I think there is, you know, a use case when uh, a truck driver is driving for, you know, 10 hours in a row <laughs> or eight hours, whatever the limit is straight down a highway and there's no pickup, no drop off involved. You know, that's sort of the ideal case for an autonomous uh, vehicle, right? Yeah, definitely. So so my, my views on the autonomous driving space have always been slightly different from, from, from a lot mm-hmm. of different people. So I believe that the larger the vehicle and the faster the vehicle has to go, um, the harder it is just from a... Um, from a societal perspective, the harder it is to actually yep. automate, right? So um, on the one hand, I believe that autonomous, uh, autonomy and trucking is a good thing. It's going to lead to mm. fewer accidents. Um, it's going to lead to uh, uh, probably uh, increased hours of service. So, so, so like you said, mm-hmm. drivers have a limited amount of hours that they can drive today. So I believe that what the role that autonomy is going to play is that it increases the number of hours that that vehicle can actually go down the highway for. I do not believe that the driver will be taken out of the vehicle because I think that the driver will still have to play this role of like what happens when something goes wrong. Something will go wrong, right? So like what yeah. happens when something go uh, something goes wrong? And even though the highway is easier to automate, the fact that you're talking about a massive vehicle going 60, 65 miles yeah. per hour ma- makes it difficult. So 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 that's really what I think is is going to is going to happen there. As far as the industry as a whole, you know, um uh, earlier in this conversation I was saying that people talk about uh, the fact that the average age of a truck driver is increasing. It's like 55 years and going up. Uh, I think Mm -hmm. that what's really happening, at least what we're seeing on the ground, is that people want to become truck drivers. It's just that they want to manage their own time, right? So they Mm -hmm. don't want someone telling them to be on the road for a month. They want to be Mm -hmm. able to look at their their revenue, look at their cost, determine how how much money they actually want to take home, and then make that trade-off of like, Maybe you want to spend every weekend at home. Maybe you want to spend every day yeah. at home and you just understand the trade-offs. So what we're seeing is people in their 20s and 30s actually coming into the industry, working with a company like Cloud Trucks is making it easier for them to be business owners and then deciding like how they want to spend their time. So I think that's going to be the trend. Uh, I think you'll just see more and more of this as, 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 as we do more and as the industry yeah. uh, is more digitized like i think you you're going to see a lot of growth in the industry yeah yeah and it's actually one of the reasons why uh, you know i've been so interested in the trucking industry and sort of you know i wouldn't say that i've studied it but i've definitely kept my eye on things here and there um you know over the past few years because i think uh, the stats stood out to me it's funny you said there's now 3.5 million truck drivers i feel like that must have increased because i could have sworn when i looked it up before <laughs> there were only 3 million <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that number has gone up and probably makes sense you know now with the pandemic and more things being shipped and all of that and you know here i'm in this industry you know focused more on uber and lyft drivers in you know, pre-pandemic and now gig workers at large. And, you know, there were never more than two to three million Uber and Lyft drivers uh, in the U.S., yet there was all of this interest and all of these companies and, you know, like these drivers had a lot of similar um, problems, I guess you would say. You said at the onset, you know, 90% of drivers uh, in the trucking industry don't stay with the company, you know, within the first year, I believe, you know, with Uber and Lyft, two thirds of all drivers quit after six months, right? So a lot of the retention and satisfaction uh, issues exist in both industries. But I feel like not nearly as much attention is being paid to the trucking industry. So I'm curious to ask you, you know, you've obviously got this uh, uh, company that's doing really well. What opportunities do you see at large in the trucking industry, either that you know are complementary to what you're doing or kind of unrelated, but just still a good opportunity? You know, if someone is interested in kind of you know serving workers and serving, you know, for me, I have a personal bias towards serving the uh, independent owner, bro- you know, <laughs> operators. But um, you know, in this industry, what do you see as far as opportunity? Um. Yeah, I mean the the, the and I, you got to limit it to one thing maybe because it yeah. seemed like you just thought about a lot right there. <laughs> no, what, what, what I was actually thinking is like uh, the biggest opportunity I think is the one that we're trying to solve, uh, which yeah. which which is just just helping the individual. I I think that um, 
I think that just broadly digitization in the industry mm-hmm. is good for everyone. Uh, so, yeah. so, you know, the, the first layer of digitization was the uh, brokers, right? So bringing a lot of data online, making things more transparent. I think that was great for the industry and great for the driver because they had more transparency. Um, yeah. I, uh, you know, th- then you have the, the, the ELD companies, electronic logging devices, where drivers mm-hmm. are able to log their hours and all of that. I think that has generally been good for the industry. Drivers have certain issues with it. and, and you know, Drivers weren't fans of it, I know. <laughs> they, they they weren't fans of it. I, I think some of them have come around, but 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 I think uh, as a whole, that's going down the right path. Uh, certainly, mm. uh, s- some companies out there are certainly going down the right path. Um, the thing that I'm I'm uh, excited about and, and would love to see more and more. There are certain companies playing in this space. Is how to digitize things that happen in the uh, in the in the uh, pick up and drop off locations, right? Mm. So. So, so, so if you think about this, um, there, there, there's just a lot of waste that happens when drivers go to pick up and drop off uh, yeah. uh, at these distribution centers uh, where a driver has an appointment, they get there, and uh, sometimes they get there on time, and uh, they have to wait like three hours, four hours yeah. long. Like that doesn't help anyone. That's a lot of waste. Uh, sometimes they're arriving late, but it's hard to give an update to that facility and say, hey, I'm going to be two hours late like, mm. because of weather or, or whatever it is. So. I, I think that's uh, an area that I would love to see a lot more innovation. Um, I think the, the, the companies that are playing in that space are, are definitely doing a good job, but we haven't seen enough uh, in that space. And that's probably the thing that would increase uh, productivity as a whole um, uh, you know, much faster uh, than, yeah. than, than some of the other things that are happening in the industry today.